Here's the sediment filter. Here's the carbon filter. The carbon filter has its reminder tag to remind you to flush it. And it's a really simple procedure. You're really just going to unscrew these canisters and put the new filters in. If this is a GX1000 Deluxe, the first thing you have to do is unplug all the mains voltage. That means make sure uh, the BP6010 booster pump, the pump switch, is unplugged from the wall. There are no 120 volt AC going to the unit. This particular unit doesn't have the pump attached, uh, but we wanted to make it easy to show how to change filters. Um, so again, no AC power mains connected whatsoever. The unit needs to be depressurized also. That means turning the main water pressure off. And simply just turn the wrench counterclockwise. There's going to be a lot of water in here. So try to bring it down level, even. Just like that, and then pour the water out if you'd like. I have a nice little drain pan here. Simply remove the old carbon filter. This one is not an old one, but yours will probably be much dirtier. And then pour the water out. Uh, wash the canister out. Dish soap is fine, water. There'll probably be a lot of sediment, maybe even rust if you have galvanized piping or uh, bad pipes in the street, so forth. If you're on a well with a lot of sediment, uh, just rinse the canister out. Take a new carbon filter, put it in. You want to make sure this O-ring uh, is lubricated. And so from the factory, we use a food grade silicon grease. Uh, if you don't have anything in a pinch, you could use uh, olive oil. It's not my favorite thing, but uh, take a little grease. And just make sure the O-ring is nice and lubricated. Not too much. Don't go crazy with it. Otherwise, these units will, uh, it'll be really hard to get the next, to get the, the canister off later if you've got to do a filter change. And simply put it back up from the center, push straight up, and you can kind of spin it on your finger like that. And it goes right in. Take your wrench, hold the unit, brace it somehow, and just give it a good turn. Don't over tighten it. You just want the O-ring to seat and that's good enough. Now we'll move on to the carbon filter. Give a good turn to the left like that. Wind it out. A lot of water is going to come out. This thing holds almost a gallon of water. I'm going to pour it out right here. Take your old carbon filter out. They're heavy. Oh. Like that. Once again, you can wash the canister out, soap and water, rinse it out good, clean it. Take your new carbon filter. Make sure that the part with the canister itself, the lid is uh, on the top. This unit would go in like that. Of course, pull the, the plastic wrapper off it. So we're going to put it in, arrow up, like that. Make sure the O-ring is on top and seated fully. Once again, we'll take a little bit of our food grade silicon grease, wipe it on the O-ring. We'll also take some silicon grease and put it on the outside O-ring. Not too much. Just enough to keep it from binding on our next filter change. Nice and easy. There it goes. And when it gets up there, just give it a little tighten, not too much, just so the O-ring seals. Just like that. Wipe away any excess water, excess water that's on the water filter itself. They are made of steel. So don't leave too much water sitting around on them. And that's it for uh, changing the sediment in the carbon filter. Now we're going to move on to the membrane.